Hi, so in this video, we are going to be solving some more complex examples of uh, expansions of binomial theorem. In the last video, we did some very basic examples, okay? You must have noticed that the first term in both the expansions that we did was one. In this, as you can see, the first term is not one. So let's see what happens when the first term is two or something other than one, basically. Okay, so this is the formula that we're going to be using that I've written right over here. All right, the formula never changes. This is the formula that we're going to be using over and over again. So we start by taking R as zero. Now, bear in mind, since the power is five, that means the total number of terms that we will get will be six. So five C zero for the first term to the power 5 minus 0 which is 5 and minus 3x to the power 0 okay if you want you can work this out on the side or you can first write down all the c and the 2 and the 3x and then you can work them out one by one so and then for when r is equals to 1 5c1 2 to the power 4 minus 3x to the power 1 and then we have 5c2 2 to the power 3 minus 3x to the power 2 and then 5c3 2 to the power 2 minus 3x to the power 3 then we have 5c4 2 to the power 5 minus 4, which is 1, minus 3x to the power 4, and then finally 5c5, 2 to the power 0, minus 3x to the power 5. Okay, this time, however, since I'm sure you guys have gotten the hang of it, I will write down the final answer. So 5c0 is going to be 1, 2 to the power 5 is going to be 32. So I'll just write down 32 straight away. Now we'll work out 5c1, which is 5 into 2 to the power 4. So I'm doing that in the calculator as I speak into minus 3x. So that means into minus 3. So we're looking at minus 240x. Okay. Then 5c2 into 2 cubed. So that's 8 into minus 3 squared minus 3x squared. So that's 9, 720. And don't forget that you will now have x squared. Okay. And remember this nature of the signs that you will have first positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, so on and so forth. Okay, then we have 5c3 into 2 squared into minus 3 cubed, so minus 3 cubed. So that is equal to minus 1080x cubed. Okay, so 5c4 into 2 to the power 1, so that's 2 into minus 3 to the power 4. So that's got to be positive, 810x to the power 4. And then finally, so 5c5 is going to be 1, 2 to the power 0 is also going to be 1. So what I'll do is I'll just work out what minus 3 to the power 5 is, and that is minus 243x to the power 5. Okay, now one thing that I want you guys to observe as I write down the answer is that I want you to observe the this is something that not gonna that's not going to come in handy right now it's going to come in handy in the next couple of videos and i want you to observe what the power on x is and compare it with the value of r okay and i want you to do that let me know what you think in the comment section because this is what we're going to be using in the next couple of videos okay so the final answer is right here 32 minus 240 x plus 720 x square minus 1080 x cubed plus 810 x to the power 4 minus 243 x to the power 5 and there you go this is the final answer okay now we have uh, another question question number four example number four in fact and uh, here we have to expand half x minus 3 to the power of 4 okay so we'll start by r equals to 0 and then r equals to 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then 4 okay so this time we have a fraction, okay? So just be slightly careful about that. So 4c0, half x to the power 4, minus 3 to the power 0. Remember, it's the same formula over and over, okay? So, and then we have 4c1, half x. Okay, I should have left some space, but anyway, I think we'll be able to squeeze it. Minus 3 to the power 1, and then 4c2. Okay, no, I'm clearly changing my mind now. Uh, half x to the power 2, and minus 3, whoops, sorry, not x squared. 4c3 half x to the power of 4 minus 3 that's 1 and minus 3 to the power of 3 and then finally 4c4 half x to the power of 0 minus 3x sorry not minus 3x oops sorry just minus 3 to the power of 4 and let me just make that correction over here also yeah we're good to go now okay so the first term is going to be 4c0 is going to be 1 and so is minus 3 to the power of 0 so half x to the power 4. So this is going to be 1 upon 16, because remember, the power 4 is not only on 1, it's also on 2, and it's also on x. x to the power 4. 
Okay, and as far as the second term goes, let's see what the second term is equal to. So for the second term, this is what we'll do. 4C1 into, I would strongly suggest that you use a calculator. Okay, I'm not trying to work it out mentally because you don't, you don't want to lose marks, okay? Uh, so 4C1 is four. So I'll just write the terms down, okay? Although I didn't plan on doing that, but I think it'd be easier for you to see what's going on. So 4C1 is four, half X, the whole thing cubed is one upon eight X cubed into minus three. Okay, so what I'm looking at right now is minus three upon two X cubed. I will double check this. So four into one upon eight into minus three, yep, minus three upon two. Okay, all right, so this has gotten really messy. Let me just quickly fix it, drag this down, leave some space here. Okay, drag this cube here. Okay, now, so let's work this out. 4C2 into one upon two, bracket close, square, into three squared, which means nine. So we're looking at 27 over two, X square. Okay, and here also, I want you to observe the value of R, okay, and the power on X. Okay, so let me just quickly fix this. So R2 is here and here is R3 and here is R4. Okay, sorry about that. All right, now let's work out 4C3. So this is four into half X into minus 27. Okay, so let's work this out. Four into half into minus 27. So we have minus 54 X to the power of one, all right. And then 4C4 is going to be one, and so is half X to the power zero, and minus three to the power four is just going to be positive 81. Okay, so these terms are all over the place, so I'll just highlight the final answer. So half, uh, one upon 16 X to the power four, and then minus three upon two X cubed, then 27 upon two X square. Then we have minus 54 X, and then finally 81. So the total number of terms should be one, two, three, four, five. Yep, and they are indeed five. So here I'm writing down the final answer. 1 upon 16, x to the power 4, minus 3 upon 2, x cubed, plus 27 upon 2, x squared, minus 54x, plus 81. And there you go. This is the expansion of half x minus 3, the whole thing, to the power 4. So apologies for uh, getting this all messy, but I hope you've understood the concept over here. And uh, so, so far we should have a good grip on expansion because that is what we will need in order to do some more complex questions, okay? And uh, again, I want you to observe the value of R and the power that we have on X, okay? Because this pattern, like I said, uh, is necessary to understand a certain concept, which I'll explain in the later videos. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, bye-bye.